Isn't that such a great story? I love butterflies. So, tomorrow I will not be with you because we will have a special guest. Tomorrow, Mr. Yoon is going to read this book to you, When Your Llama Needs a Haircut. It's a really fun story and I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you later. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs. Hello, I'm Mr. Yoon. I'm finally taking over this channel. Hello, this is Ma Ma Mr. Yoon, and I'm here today to read a story to you, like Mrs. Yoon. You this thing needs to stop. What I'm going to be reading for today's story is something special, and the hint is in my arms right now. Can you guess what it is? It's Larry the Alpaca, but it's we're not reading about alpacas. It, I just felt the need to bring up Larry. What we're actually going to read today is when your llama needs a haircut. The story is by Susanna Leonard Hill and it's illustrated by Daniel Wiseman. Uh-oh, it's picture day and someone's a mess. Have you ever woken up and gone to picture day and have your hair looking a mess? I've had that happen quite a few times. Oof. Does your llama need a haircut? So, do you think this llama needs a haircut? It has flowers and stuff in its hair. I'm almost certain there's probably dirt as well. <laughs> it looks like the little kid says, yep. When your llama needs a haircut, you have to be a bit tricky. Llamas usually think their hair look, looks just fine. First, you'll have to catch them. Phew! Now you'll have to wash his hair. Do you see? They have a little hose and they're spraying out all the llama's stuff in its hair. When your llama's hair is nice and clean, brush out all the tangles. You see right here, he's using a rake to brush out all the tangles. He'll probably complain. Remind him that everyone will see his picture so he'll want to look good. Wow! Stubborn llamas are tiring. So you see this llama, he basically doesn't want to have his hair done and afterwards when you try to convince him, he just wants to eat instead. I usually like eating when I'm angry too. Now it's time for the haircut. Hmm, what style would look best? What type of haircut do you think would look best for a llama? A bowl cut? Have you ever had a bowl cut? Basically, you put a bowl over your head and then you just have someone cut around and that's what it looks like. You have a bowl. I've never had a bowl cut before, but I've had classmates have bowl cuts before. How about a perm? It makes it all nice and fluffy. Or a buzz cut. Mr. Yoon's had plenty of buzz cuts over his lifetime. I like to keep my hair nice and short, so I don't need to do a lot of work to take care of it. Perhaps layers? Maybe he'd like it turquoise or rainbow. Oh. 
how about a mohawk? Does that look good? But who has an hour a day for styling? And you can see right here, the llama looks like quite the rock star. Would you want a mohawk haircut? A simple trim from nose to tail seems just right, don't you think? Snip. Make sure he holds still. Snip, snip. Oh, stop that wiggling. And you see Llama's wiggling about as he tries to cut off his hair. What do you think is going to happen next? Do you think the llama's gonna have a good haircut or not? Who knows? Let's keep reading. Okay, wait. Maybe you should show him how easy it is. Do you see the llama? He didn't have a good haircut, did he? And it looks like the kid is about to go cut his own hair too. Oops. Now both the kid and the llama has a bad haircut. When your llama needs a haircut, you might just end up with one too. Cheese! And it looks like the hair, or the kid and the llama both have had all their hair cut off. So, now that we finished this story, what do you think is the best haircut for a llama? Now, you're also probably wondering, doesn't Larry the alpaca look a lot like, oh, a llama? Well, it's funny that you should bring that up because number one, alpacas are one of Mr. Yoon's favorite animals. But number two, alpacas and llamas are commonly mistaken for one another. Just for reference, here's a llama, here's an alpaca. Do you notice all the similarities between the two? Don't they look very much the same? So you can see why people always mistake them, but keep in mind they're two very different animals. So what exactly are the differences between the two? Well, the first thing that is different between a llama and an alpaca, a llama is much more larger than an alpaca. Number two, llamas are usually much more meaner in personality. This makes them very good animals to go herding. Do you know what herding animals are? Think of it like a shepherd dog. Basically, a shepherd dog runs after sheep and help, sheep, help guide the sheep where to go. Llamas can do that. Alpacas, on the other hand, are much more smaller and much more nicer because they are animals that are usually herded, similar to sheep. The third way to tell the difference between a llama and an alpaca is by looking at their faces. So, llamas have really long ears. They're about the size of a banana. And they have really long faces too. Alpacas, on the other hand, have smaller ears and their faces are a little bit more blunt, so a little bit, shor or a little bit shorter. Another big difference between a llama and an alpaca is that a llama you can actually use as similar to a donkey. You can put stuff on it and you can ride on an alpaca if you want to. On the other hand, you shouldn't ride an alpaca similar to not riding a sheep. Um, and may, uh, the main purpose of a alpaca is for their fur. Their fur is very, very soft. It is usually used for different types of shirts and coats. And the best part about alpaca fur is that it's non-flammable. Do you know what non-flammable means? It means that it can't go on fire but alpaca fur is also hypoallergenic. Do you know what hypoallergenic means? It's a pretty big word. So hypo, uh, there are some people, similar to Mr. Yoon, who gets very, very itchy around certain types of fabrics. 
alpaca fur basically isn't very itchy at all. So if you want something warm and doesn't go on fire easily and doesn't make you itchy, alpaca fur is the best way to go. Last but not least, and probably the most important part of the difference between an alpaca and a llama is that Mr. Yoon's favorite animal isn't a llama. It's an alpaca. So, what is your favorite animal between the two? If you can, or draw a picture of your favorite animal, and then also draw a picture of an alpaca or llama and send it in so that I can see your pictures. I really enjoyed our time together today and I look forward to speaking to you in the future. Bye. Say bye, Larry. Bye.